Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. A doctor in Ethiopia's Tigray regional capital, Mekele, has said that at least 27 people have been killed during the fight between federal and regional troops. The testimony contradicts the statement from Ethiopian Prime Minister Abe Ahmed's office that says that there have been no civilian casualties. The Prime Minister has also insisted that the regional forces have been defeated despite denials from the regional leaders. According to Mr Abe, the Tigrayan forces do not have the capacity to mount a guerrilla war from the mountains in the northern region. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom is preparing to start giving the first doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine less than a week after the country has become the first Western nation to approve a COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccinations are set to start and frontline health staff, people over 80 and care home workers will be first to get it. The NHS has reported that 50 hospital hubs across England have already received their allocation of the vaccine. UK health officials expect up to 4 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine by the end of December. The United States plans to sanction Chinese officials over their alleged role in Beijing's disqualification of elected opposition legislators in Hong Kong. As many as 14 people, including officials of China's parliament, will be affected by measures such as asset freezes and financial sanctions. The news comes after Hong Kong's government last month expelled four opposition members from its legislature after China's parliament gave city authorities new powers to curb dissent. This is the latest move from the White House as President Donald Trump's administration maintains pressure on Beijing in his final weeks in office. An unidentified illness has hospitalized more than 300 people in southeastern India. Local officials investigating the case said that patients in the city of Eluru have reported a range of symptoms including seizures, loss of consciousness and some nausea over the weekend. All the patients have tested negative for COVID-19. Authorities are now testing water samples in Eluru for contamination after all patients have received their water from a common source. Another monolith similar to those found recently in other parts of the world has appeared on a beach in Britain. The mirrored structure was discovered on the Isle of Wight off the south coast of England. This is the fourth sighting of a monolith after the first one was found in Utah last month and the other two shining metal towers that appeared in Romania and Southern California. An anonymous collective called the Most Famous Artist has taken credit for the monoliths in Utah and California. And finally, a fireworks store in southern Russia has caught fire, sending thousands of rockets into the skies. This video, released by the Russian Ministry of Emergencies, shows rockets exploding into the early morning skies. According to local media, several streets had been closed, which caused several hours of traffic jams in Rostov-on-Don. The ministry said in a statement that no injuries were reported and that it took several hours and hundreds of firefighters to bring the blaze under control. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.